Good morning, Falcons. Principal Neil here with your weekly announcements. I cannot believe it, but including today, we have four school days left until testing begins. So first off, a huge congratulations to all of our students and our band. They had their end of year concert on Tuesday. It was phenomenal and it was Mrs. Tobin's last band concert directing at Quail Hollow Middle School after her amazing career. She will be retiring the end of this school year. We are so honored to have been able to learn so much from her, to have her be um, on our team at Quail Hollow please make sure that you thank her for her amazing service to our school. And again, congratulations on a wonderful show. Also a shout out to Mr. Tudisco for his um, special appearance in the band concert. Um, students, a reminder for our eighth grade students who are going to Disney, there is a parent meeting after school on Monday evening. Make sure you've checked the calendar for that. And then we have our end of year athletic program, our awards program on Tuesday evening. Make sure again that you have your calendars marked there. So next week, we will begin testing on Wednesday. A few important reminders for you. First of all, all week, I need you to make sure you are getting plenty of sleep, at least eight hours. That may mean going to sleep earlier than you're used to, but that's going to help your brain be ready to access all of the information stored in it. Um, also make sure that you're eating, that you're going to breakfast in the morning, that you're eating lunch, that you're having those meals, um, again, to help wake you up and keep you alert. Make sure you are on time on testing days. If you arrive late to school, you will not be able to test. I assure you it will end up being a very boring day and then you'll have to do a makeup test which may mean that you'll miss the opportunity to participate in other exciting events that are scheduled for the end of the year including field day or carowinds, etc. So make sure you are here on time for all of the testing days. Um, also, I encourage you to dress in layers. As you guys know, the temperature in our building changes from day to day so I encourage you to wear maybe a t-shirt and then bring a sweatshirt as well so if you're hot or cold you can take on and off that sweatshirt or cardigan so that you can be comfortable during testing. Just so you know what to expect with testing Please remember that you will be asked to turn in your cell phones and any other technology that you have with you on the days of testing. I don't want that to catch you off guard. If you don't want to turn in your cell phone, don't bring it with you to school that day. Um, also, if you bring a book with you to your testing session, then if you finish early, um, you will be allowed after you've completed your test to read silently. So if you want that option, make sure you plan ahead and bring a book with you. It is not something where you'll be able to go to the media center or go to a bookshelf in the back of the classroom and get a book. You have to have it with you um, for testing. So plan ahead there. Um, eighth graders, um, you know that you will have one of your tests on the Chromebooks. Um, because of that, prior to testing, you'll be asked to de-decorate um, your Chromebook. So if you have any pictures or stickers or anything that you've put inside the cover of your Chromebook maybe, make sure that you go ahead and take that out because um, otherwise we will do it for you and it will be thrown away. So please make sure that your Chromebook is clutter free. Um, and then a reminder, um, next Friday, so not tomorrow, but the following Friday, which is May 27th, that is back to being a teacher work day, so there is no school for you that day. We have Memorial Day weekend, and there is no school that Monday, May 30th either. So that is a four-day weekend um, coming up for you again, not this weekend, but the following weekend, so make sure you're planning with your families. Thanks so much. Have a great week.